Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw champagne glasses and if you're interested, please keep watching. Now you see the size of my artboard and here it is the colors which i'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and download an original file with the design and colors you can do it on my patreon page the link will be below this tutorial and now let's start the tutorial Ok guys, my artboard is ready and colors already in the swatches panel and now let's create the background. Let's take this color and rectangle tool, hold shift and create the square. Ok, like this. Now let's take uh, that color and ellipse tool. and draw the ellipse like this ok now let's take uh, the rectangle tool with the same color and draw the rectangle like this and we need to cut off the part of ellipse so select the ellipse and rectangle and now go to Pathfinder intersect move here okay now let's take rectangle tool with the same color and draw the rectangle like this move here now take ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse like this now select all three shapes go to align and align it horizontal okay now pathfinder unite Take direct selection tool, select these two points, hold and drag to round the corners like this or like this, it's like you want. And the same here, select these two points and hold and drag to round corners as you like. I like like this. Now let's take this point and move it up ok the glass is ready now let's take orange color and ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse like that ok make it thinner move a little up and take direct selection tool, move this point up and now let's down the ellipse a little, like that ok, now let's take rectangle tool with the same color, draw the rectangle, now rotate it you can rotate as you like, the need to cut off uh, a part of the champagne I think like this is great now select both shapes Pathfinder intersect ok now copy and paste this shape make the co uh, move the copy down make it wider Ok, now again copy and paste this shape, select both shapes and go to Pathfinder minus front. 
and take this color for this shape. Okay. Now let's take ellipse tool, hold shift and draw the circle like that. Now hold odd and make copies and put them in different places to create a more realistic view of the champagne. Ok, now let's copy any circle, hold ALT and make the copy and change fill to stroke. Ok, and select this type of the brush. And now again hold ALT and make some copies of the sparkles like this. Okay. And now change the size of some sparkles. Again, it looks more realistic than uh, when the sparkles are different sizes. Like this. Now we need to create sparkles here. We need the same color in the fill and ellipse tool and let's draw here the circles of different sizes to create sparkle look here. Now if you need you can move your sparkles in the places you like the most, like this. Ok. Now I like it more. And now let's select the glass and move it here. Ok. Uh, now let's add some more sparkles here. We need the same color. And let's draw some sparkles here and of course we need to create some sparkles beyond the glass like that and now select some sparkles and change fill to stroke and this brush and of course you need to change the size of uh, the sparkles. Some sparkle can be bigger, some sparkle can be smaller. Ok, like that. Now select the champagne and black and white gradient liner or any liner gradi gradient it's no matter now let's change the colors in the gradient here we need orange color and here that one okay now copy and paste the glass of the champagne twice one of the copy move to the right like this, select both copies and now let's go to Pathfinder minus front and we need to uh, change, uh, move the shape to front and change opacity to multiply. Ok, now again copy and paste this shape twice, one of the shapes move to the left, select like this, select both shapes and go to Pathfinder minus front and let it be white color and here transparency 50% and move these two points with help of direct selection tool to the right, or to the left, sorry. Now let's 
take this shape with help of selection tool and move it to front. And now let's take uh, the shadow and as well move it to front. Okay. Now let's uh, lock the layer with the background and select the glass, move it here, hold ALT and make the copy. Now right click, transform, reflect, vertical, OK. And now let's play with the glasses. I think I need to move the red one here and that one a little up, select both and make them a little smaller, like this. OK. Now let's select that one and rotate it, like this. OK. And select this one and the same rotate it. Move here. Now let's take dark red color and ellipse tool and let's create the shadow here. We need to unlock the layer with the background and send this shadow and background to back. Now hold ALT and make the copy and move the shadow here. If you want, you can make the shadow a little longer, like this. OK. And now let's move a little sparkles here. And if you want, you always add some, you always can add some sparkles. Just hold out and make the copy or create new one. And now the last element, let's take ellipse tool, radial gradient. Here we need a light color and here we need classical black color. You need to select black color with the color code six zeros only with this color will work this effect. Uh, let's change opacity to screen. Move the slider in the gradient here. Make the, high, uh, the sparkle smaller and let's put the sparkle in the sparkles in any place you like the most. Well, guys, the champagne glasses are ready. Well, guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.